Hello everyone, I'm excited to introduce to you the K9 Handler Trauma Pack. This is something we've been working uh, on for a while. Uh, we've had so much request for a really robust, all-inclusive, both K9 Handler and K9 Trauma Pack, and this is it. We worked hard on this and we're really excited to share with you the bag itself and then the contents more specifically and why we chose them. So real quick on the bag itself, this is our uh, the platform from our Asher Trauma Pack Elite. A thousand Cordura denier, really robust material. Um, the zippers themselves here are reinforced and they're waterproof zippers. As you can see, we also have two um, standard options it comes with for the zipper pulls, both in high visibility red, and then you also comes with the black subdued ones. In addition to that, now we've upgraded to a actually rated carabiner. These are the Metolius carabiners. You can choose again from an orange Metolius carabiner. This is rated at 24 kilonewtons almost 5,000 pound working load, and or the black one. The back of the bag itself has the uh, Molly uh, platform. You can attach this to something or use the buckle to attach around something, and then the bag itself will rip away. To start, we made sure that we have two ways of carrying this. You have a larger uh, handle here for a gloved hand and a normal size uh, handle right here. We, uh, on this one here, went with one of the standard tourniquets. This is a cat tourniquet. This is meant for the human. So you have two options for a tourniquet. As we look inside, I want you to see that, again, this is geared to both be able to treat the canine handler and the, the canine itself. So let's take a closer look. Control For your bleeding control items, you have for the canine handler the, the regular commercial grade tourniquet, but for the canine itself, we went with a few options. So one, you have your SWAT T. So again, major bleeding, the B is bleeding control. You have your SWAT T. And you also have two of our emergency elastic wraps. As you can see from some of our previous training videos, this thing is, is a really awesome tool because you can create a lot of pressure on it. It doesn't take up room. And it's extremely versatile for both creating a, a modified tourniquet enough to occlude um, the extremity on a canine and also after you've packed the wound. So you have two of these in here, um, and those will be good for as a modified tourniquet or after you've wound packed. So you have two of the quick clot tourniquets, two of the emergency elastic wraps, one of the SWAT T. You're gonna have two of the um, regular um, gauze for packing a wound. You're also gonna have two of our pressure dressing, so there'll be two of these in here. These can be used for, um, if you've already packed the wound and now you want to uh, cover it up with this or just to use it as a pressure dressing when you don't have a major bleed. So again, we're still only on the bleeding phase. So we've done the B is the bark. Um, now we're looking at airway, right? So whether it's the human or the canine, um, if you need to, uh, you have a chest injury, you need to help with that airway process um, on an adult, you're putting them on their side. On the canine, um, it's important, again, to control their airway, but also if they have a chest injury, this is where it's important to cover those holes in the torso, both human and canine, and decompress as needed. So this is why there's two needles here, not just one for the canine handler and the canine, but also if it's just an injury to the canine, it is recommended to decompress both sides um, in, in that torso, not just the affected side. So you have two of those. From there, moving on, you see the gloves on the top. We do have two of the larger size vented chest seals. You do have the um, petroleum gauze, and that's gonna help with creating a better adhesion between the fur and the gauze itself. Um, from there, um, we do have the larger trauma shears. We do have some basic gauze for the, um, you know, for minor cuts and abrasions. And we do have now a blizzard blanket. The blizzard blanket is meant more for now when you really want to control that hypothermia. The bag itself, as you can see from the description, also has regular Mylar blankets, and that could be uh, to buy yourself some time until you put the blanket on, or if you have multiple casualties. There's also duct tape in here, and really importantly, there's two other items that are meant specifically for the canine, and that is the muzzle which will probably go on a lot earlier in your treatment phase because the canine is, is, is a, maybe a danger to themselves or others. They're biting, they're scared because they're hurt. So we have the adjustable um, tactical muzzle by Tactical Medical Solutions. And then we have our eight second thermometer. It's important to know the working temperature of your canine so you can make sure they're not um, getting hurt. 
So with that, this is our canine trauma pack. Uh, this is gonna be the Ranger green option. We also have it in our awesome uh, Virtus camo. This is the Echo camo, same exact bag, really durable, all waterproof zippers and so forth. But this is our Echo camo. These are two options we currently have. Um, again, this is meant for that canine handler and the canine themselves, inspired by the canine handler community, the working dogs. We're really excited about this and our goal is that this will not only save human lives but also canines. So again, thanks for all your support and as always, let's save lives together.